state website has 77.49% of the vote in, and it shows 2,229,686 votes for President Obama with 49.19% of the vote, and for Governor Romney, 2,228,695 uh, a 911 vote difference, 49.17. And we say it's a 900. Obama 900, is leading 900, 900 votes. When it, when, it, when it was at 74 percent, it was 20 some odd thousand votes. Now, with 77 percent of the vote in, it is 991. One of the reasons why is one of the biggest blocks of votes out in the state are the Republican suburbs inside Hamilton County. And as they started to come in, they narrowed that margin dramatically. Like the speaker, the speaker pro tem of the House, his district had three percent of the vote in until very recent. Now it started to come I'm going to ask you a straight out question. You went through this in 2000. You almost went through it in 2004. Do you believe that Ohio has been settled? No, I don't. And, and, and look, if we, if, we, if we are calling this on the basis of 74% of the vote being in, and when 77% is in, Secretary of State website, I got the director of the Ohio campaign, Romney on the other end of the line, refreshing the page every few seconds, and this went from being, when, when we started this conversation three or four minutes ago, 1,995 vote margin for President Obama, to just now 999, 999. And, and the outstanding 20% of the vote, where is that? Well, we know that the, some of it is in Cuyahoga County, which is going to be Democrat, but we've got a half of Hamilton County out. We had the city of Cincinnati vote. We now saw, we, we, you know, we now are starting to see the suburbs start coming in. Then we have uh, the uh, we have big swatches of Butler County, Delaware County, and Warren County, all of which are Republican counties uh, that have big chunks of their vote out. So you're not saying that Obama isn't going to win, no, but you're just but saying I he hasn't won it yet. I think this is premature. We got 70. We got a quarter of the vote. Now remember, here's the thing about Ohio: a third of the vote or more is cast early. That is won overwhelmingly by the Democrats. It's counted first, and then you count the election day. And the question is, do the, do, by the time you finish counting the election day, does it overcome that early advantage that the Democrats have built up in early voting, particularly in in uh, in, in, in Cuyahoga County. Now, Joe, I, I, we know that Carl has a rooting interest. I think he's right. at this point he's just telling us the facts. But you don't have a rooting interest right. for Mitt Romney. What do you think? Uh, look, uh, when I had my last contact with the Obama folks, they they thought uh, that Florida was their best shot, uh, that Virginia looked the shakiest, and that Ohio they were they, they were thought they were going to win, but were less sure of. Um, and so, you know, but when you look at these counties, you look at Hamilton County, Obama's been winning it. There's still a lot out there. So I, I understand what Carl's saying, but if you look at some of these counties that are still left out there, there are votes, a lot of votes left for Obama that could could outnumber some of these suburban but counties that did not have. Well, but if the decision desk has looked at those and, and is looking at key precincts in those counties and projecting, that's what they do. Um, and they may, it, you know, I, we haven't been able to go in and do that yet. Carl? Uh, apparently, uh, the, the website is now being crashed because they can no longer refresh it. But, but look, I, I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but you should, we got to be careful about calling things when we have like 991 votes separating the two candidates and a quarter of the vote yet to count. Even if they have made it on the basis of, of select precincts, I'd be very cautious about intruding in this process. Well, folks, <laughs> uh, so maybe not so fast. Thanks a lot. Thank oh, you. That's, it's great to have you guys here. That's, uh, that's awkward. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get someone from the decision desk, and we're going to bring them in here. And we're going to have them on air, and we're going to interview them about this decision. Well, I think we should sit them next to Carl Rove and interview both of them. Let and them interview end. each other. Michael Barone, I think, is going to come in here. Maybe Chris Steyerwall. We'll see who's who's going to come talk.